we're gonna play on free play for just a little bit longer. I want to see what kind of weird damage we can do. Just like that. A what? Really? I'm just gonna to do two blast charges at the back. That was a lot more damage than I was expecting it would do. I was hoping that would just cut a hole in the back and then fire the whole ship forward. I was wrong. That caused problems. All right. Uh, let's pop out of that. Let's try that again. I, because I don't, I don't care to be ripping ships apart. I, I've done that for however many hours at this point. I'm just here to see what kind of weird damage we can do to the ship uh, with the least amount of actions possible. Oh shit, that would be such a good... So I was talking about like doing a, a race with people, and I, I still think that would be kind of fun to get a number of like streamers, YouTubers, and whatnot to do like a, a race to see, you know, how many ships, how much money can you make in a two hour period or three hour period or something. Um, but a race for, okay, I'm gonna stand right here, right behind it. I'm gonna get close. Oh wait, no, but it can't kill me, whatever. Oh, are you kidding me? Wait, what? Huh. Or is it the compartments? It's the compartments. Oh, I can't destroy these, can I? Dang. This ship is tragically uninteresting. Die! Okay, well, basic ship is way too dang stable. I'm not getting the uh, the funsies that I'm looking for, so we're gonna we're gonna go up. Let's take a look at the heavy cargo javelin because I haven't even seen this thing yet. It must be a higher rank ship. And I want to see what this gets me. Well, I, I want to see what it looks like first, and then I want to just see what kind of weird damage I can do. Because I want to see if I can replicate the ship flies forward like a rocket. Like, how did that even happen? It should have spun or, like, flown sideways, but no, it just went forward. I, I want to find the ships that destroy themselves in the most spectacular way possible. <laughs> Gmod magic. That's honestly probably it. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we haven't even tried blowing up the fuel tanker variant here. Holy shit. Look at this thing. Whoa, it keeps going. Boy, howdy. Where's the airlock? There's the airlock. Yeah, this is this would be the reason why I'd want to keep doing the uh, story mode. See, this is what I was hoping would happen when I popped the airlock. But it didn't. Instead, it just flew off. Yeah, this is the normal response. So did I just get the one booby-trapped one? 
You're right. There is a lot more immediate mass in play on this one. Because, yeah, normally I just have to worry about, like, an object flying at my face. I don't know if I'm going to be able to uh, replicate that, then. All right. Oh. Okay. That was some spectacular fireworks. Wasn't actually a problem. Like, I was expecting that to cause big boom. And I guess it was many boom. It wasn't exactly big boom. Imagine the show that multiple tanks would do. Let's go do that then. I I cannot wait to tear one of the heavily heavy cargo javelins apart. Like that that feels like that's going to be an incredible experience. But no, let's let's do a refueling javelin. And yeah, my favorite is the later ships with fuel lines running through the entire ship and detonating one triggers the entire ship to go nuclear. Ooh. I will have to check that out. Yeah, what about the reactors? Honestly, when I... Like, reactors, when they blow up, it's satisfying, but it doesn't take out the whole ship. Unless it's a really small one, then sometimes it does. But, like, I, I set off a... Uh, a reactor on one of the big ships previously, and it kind of... it was okay. Ooh. Holy... wait. This is, uh... This is a little bit more... than I've been cutting up. This has a whole second layer and a hell of a lot more fuel. Okay. Pressure levels dropping. This is the actual javelin with all the bits and bobs. Apparently, so holy shit. All right. How the heck am I going to get this out of here? I guess we just cut the butt off. And then fly it around. I think that's going to be my solution. Very real possibility this is going to blow up in my face, all the same. Like, before I managed to get this to go nuclear where I need it to go? Uh, let's see. Is there like a, a switch? Yes, there is. Okay, that's loose.
Anything up top? Nope. Let's just kind of delete things at hyper range. If it'll let me. Salvage oh. deposit accepted. Credits transferred. What? Oh. Right, I have to remove these. Eh. Try that off. Yeah, ship too big. That works great for me. Oops. There we go. That might have actually killed me. Or at least would have. Something that would be cool in this game, but not necessary, would be the ability to manipulate the orientation of the ship. Rotation and angular. Including the ship's speed, which it moves. Yeah? Okay, so this is actually working kind of surprisingly well. So if this is free play, does that mean you have the blast charges? Yes. I thank you, Waffles and Chez, for the 10 gifted subs. And the, I guess, other gifted sub that I don't think I actually thanked you for properly yesterday. Thank you so much. A viewer are having an absolutely lovely, lovely evening. Those sparks spitting are actually kind of worrying. Love this game so much. Keep it up. Yeah! I did just finish Act 1, though. So that puts me in a bit of a weird spot of just, like, I could keep playing uh, to grind up new ships. Uh, but some part of me is like, oh, but... But it'll be done. At some point. I don't know. It's always, like, a weird thing with incomplete games. Like, how do I do a series on them? Do I just play it obsessively? Do I play somewhat? Oh. This goes barge. Because yeah, I'd like to take off that strut. It said cut point, but I couldn't cut. Yeah, sorry. No, nah, it's no problem. Like, I I will play an, ex an extremely high amount of... Uh, large amount of this game. It's just I might not play a whole lot of it... Well, it's not going to all... All be at once, I guess, is the, the better way of putting it. And honestly, I'd rather you guys take your time than rush out uh, the rest of this and have it be kind of a half measure. Okay, I think, I think this is good. I'm just going to pull this off. Okay. So this hasn't gotten messed up on me. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Oh, that's that's a pretty behemoth right there. Next up. Okay, so each one of these cannot stick to the other. That is okay. Weaver, Cutter, what are you doing? I I would absolutely love a couple of Weaver lines for free play mode. Like, if you're clearly doing something you never should do, he just pops in and is like, Cut, Cutter? Huh. Apparently, if you pull the reactor free, 
Uh, it sets off all the detonation charges. Aww. Oh, I, I didn't stop the coolant. That's what it was. It'd been a while. Am I out of demo charges? No. Now we got him. All right. Alt plan. I was really hoping to put the reactor in the center of this, but uh, I forgot about the whole coolant situation, mainly just because not used to that one yet. Uh, so instead, we're just going to make this thing go supernova by breaching all the fuel tanks simultaneously. Gosh, I would love a physics slider in this game. Just, how big would you like your explosions to be? Like, I want to, I want to supersize me meter. I... There we go. A super size me meter, but for uh, reactor explosions, fuel tanks. This guy has such garbage aim. But then again, I guess it flips a bunch of times. <laughs> okay. There we go. Didn't ask how big the room was. I said I cast fireball. <laughs> Salvage destroyed. <laughs> Don't do that. Now this... This is a send-off that I'm looking for. I do wish that uh, there was a mode for the debt charges going off uh, that made it truly simultaneous so it all went off at once as opposed to it in sequence. But that's fine. Alright. Now... What the heck? Alright. Credits deposited. <laughs> Apparently something blowing up made me money. Oh well. Alright. Warning. Work bay limits are out of bounds. Please turn I back. will escape. Huh. This has no collision. None of this has any collision. What? Oh, hey, we found maximum Morning. speed. You are approaching the outer limits of your work bay. Uh, we <laughs> yeah, because I can't actually officially die here. Also, for all of that damage that I did, that was only about a third of the value of that ship. Which is kind of impressive. <laughs> this is really cool. I like this view. But yeah, I, I think I'm gonna stand stand by what I was talking about earlier with the the idea of potentially. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna look at some things for a second because there, there's some cool shit out here. I thought for a second that space station looking thing was actually built out of the moon, and I was like, oh, that's metal. Interesting thing I'm noticing. I don't think there's a space elevator. That's a surprise. I would have expected there there to be a space elevator unless we were currently at the top of it. And yeah, I'm only seeing one cutting bay too. Huh. You know, on the topic of making a bigger cutting bay, uh, you absolutely could just have this get wider. When, like, four bigger ships Almost as a reveal, uh, at some point the cutting bay just starts like kind of making a grinding noise and the whole thing just slides open and then a bigger barge shows up. You, I mean, obviously that's not exactly how it would work, but like, you want to be real lazy about just making a bigger, bigger bay, that'd be the easy way to do it. Yeah, easy. 
No, I know. I, I'm just thinking in terms of like, looking at this from above, it absolutely looks like it could just slide to the sides if you wanted to fit a bigger ship in here. Uh, and honestly, like that would be cool as hell. Because it already looks like a monkey wrench. You are approaching the outer limits of your work bay. Uh, like the the clamps on a on a wrench. You you absolutely could have it just go open up. Pure spitball. Once again, ignore if it's unfeasible. I was just thinking of like, yeah, how would you fit bigger ships in here? And the answer is, I mean, honestly, the main issue would be extracting stuff. Would be the problem. All right. Well. I've had my fun, and I've had a lot of it, but I think I'm going to leave it here just so I don't burn out too much on cutting ships apart, because I already love the, the new amount of variety that was added as a result of Act 1. Um, anyway, it is time to go back to Earth. Warning. Work bay limits are out of Quiet time. suit. I want to go home to... True? Alas. It's actually, let's scoot down and look at the underside of this stru structure, because I was looking at Earth. Yeah, it is interesting. There's a couple of giant craters all over the place. Gulf of Mexico, I think, got a little bit more gulfy, but I could be wrong. I haven't looked at a map very often. Morning. South America definitely got messed up. Unfortunately, I don't see the rest of the globe to really comment too much on the state of the map. Well, is what it is. Oh, is Florida gone? I... Let's be honest here. Even, like, in modern times, Florida is gone. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's not gone. It's just underwater. But, like... We all knew Florida was gonna sink eventually. Like, that's... Miami floods on King Tides, just to begin with. And I'm sure maybe not all of Florida will go underwater, but so much of it. <laughs> Florida's rejected landmass and returned to Gator. It's true. We say back. goodbye to Disneyland. Now you mean Disney World. Oh. You cannot pass through the bottom of the barge. Good to know. We... Anywho, so I had my fun and I will be back for act two. I love this game so much. I can't wait to see it done, but I will wait patiently until we get some more. So until then, thanks for watching so much. I'll see you next time.